My name's Logan Plant and I'm the founder of Beavertown Brewery. I found my way into brewing um, through, I guess, being indoctrinated by uh, my my dad in the West Midlands. He was a big ale drinker um, and as a child I was dragged around many a pub beer garden uh, with a packet of crisps and a, a can of Vimto. I was pretty much self-taught so I got the, uh, the bug of the hops and the malts. I started buying brewing books, um, huge amounts, and reading loads of articles on the internet, um, and then putting that into practice. What came first was the idea of starting the brewery and the restaurant Duke's Brew and Q together. I think for me, being turned on to the US craft brewing market happened uh, probably about four or five years ago when I was out there, and I went into a barbecue joint that was serving amazing craft beer. Um, and drinking it fresh, straight out the tap in big jugs. The name Beaver Town comes from the local area, De Beauvoir Town. A friend of mine lived there, and when I told him I was opening this barbecue, uh, a microbrewery in De Beauvoir Town, he said, "No, nah, no, nah, it's it's Beaver Town." <laughs> and that was it. I just thought, yeah, it's a great name. It suits us. It suits the project. It's kind of got that Americanism behind it. The business has grown a lot from me brewing 25 liter batches in my kitchen to brewing once a week in Dukes and fermenting downstairs to then moving out to this lockup. In April of, of this year, 2014, we'll be moving up to Tottenham Hale, which is a kit that's gonna allow us to produce 5,000 liters of beer per brew. So within the two years, probably 18 months of wholesale, it's been quite a jump. I think we've been really lucky, as in starting again in East London, the amount of creative uh, people we've been lucky enough to bring in to work with us from day one. The imagery was all based, um, I guess, around the. I was searching for an icon, you know, like a, a strong logo, um, and the all seeing eye sprung out to me. I was reading a lot into the Knights Templar and a lot of Masonic kind of stuff, as you do, um, and it just, yeah, it just hit me, and I just thought, well, why don't we kind of conform it ourselves, use the triangle, use the rays of light, stick our kind of B in the middle, and then grow it from there. I think beer is massively um, underestimated as a beverage to pair with food. The amount of different ingredients that you can, uh, you can brew with, um, you know, the, there's, there's a never-ending landscape of flavour and, and recipe to pair with certain dishes. I guess the horizon is always never-ending, you know, with beer at the moment. Yeah, I think that's, that's why the industry of brewing is so healthy at the moment.